Hey, how you guys doing? It's your boy, The Lies Perez. Um, just want to talk to you guys about my pound for pound list, you know, as a fighter, who are my, uh, you know, top five fighters. You know, people who I feel, you know, their accomplishments are above everyone else's. Nobody would touch them at this moment in time, you know, pound for pound list. So number one, you know, I know this one is going to make a lot of people roll their eyes. They're going to you know, there's a lot of hate towards this man. Uh, this, there's a lot of controversy too. Um, either way, his accomplishments, his resume uh, speaks for itself. Canelo Alvarez. Canelo Alvarez is a four-time world champ in four different weight divisions. Um, the amount he's accomplished at such a young age. Yes, he's 30 years old, but before that, you know. Um, Besides his accomplishments and besides his resume, aside from that, as a fighter and as a fighter's point of view, um, his adjustments. Canelo is very versatile. Canelo can do it all. He can move forward, he can move backwards, being both defensively responsible, moving forward and going backwards. He's a counter puncher. He has power in both hands, speed. Um, let alone, you know, not to forget the fact that he is the face of boxing at this moment in time. And for my second fighter on the pound for pound list is Terrence Crawford. But but is a great fighter. Uh, he's in the road to becoming a legend. Uh, I compare him to a Floyd Mayweather with a puncher's chance. He has power in both hands. He can fight orthodox, southpaw, um, you know, he can fight coming forward, he can fight coming back, he's just an overall great fighter, adjustments, you know, I mean, he has three coaches, he's just a student of the game and he's always improving and getting better. And for my third pick, this one was a back and forth debate mentally. Um, at first, I had Naya Inu. Um, Inu is one of my favorite fighters. You know, he's extremely talented. But I don't feel he's been as, you know, on those big stages the same way as Anthony Joshua. Um, you know, I know he has one loss and they get knocked out by Ruiz. Not taking it away from Ruiz, but Anthony Joshua was underprepared. It was, you know, a filling opponent. And, um,. He's come back from that. He got the win back. And what I liked and what I loved about the fight was that he showed he could make adjustments. He was moving like Ali. He looked at slick. He, you know, he stuck to the game plan, kept him out with the jab. Um, you know, besides that, Anthony Joshua is the European side or maybe the world side face of boxing. You know, him and Canelo are our biggest names. So that's what pushed Inu to number four and Joshua to number three. Uh, Joshua has punching power. He has charisma. He uh, is an overall star. He's great for the sport of boxing. But um, that is why I have Anthony Joshua for number three. Number four. I already told you guys this um, for number three, but it's number four, Naya Inu. Naya Inu is a monster. Um, you know, no pun intended. But, um... He's cleared out his division. He's cleared out the one above that. He's uh, growing into another division. That that fight actually with Donito Denair um, actually kind of convinced me of, of Inu, which was, you know, I felt like he might have just not had the proper um, opposition. But with Donito Denair, where he showed that he was able to box and move, it showed me he was an overall great fighter. Number five. Vasily Lomachenko, The Matrix. Um, this might surprise a few of you. You know, I mean, BoxRec has him at number 27 on the pound for pounds. What a disrespect. One bad performance and you put him not even in the top 20. Um, Vasily Lomachenko, his resume speaks for itself. He's literally destroyed champions, made them quit. I mean, a year ago, everybody was calling him Nomachenko. And now one bad performance and he's out of the pound for pound list, the top 10. So that's one thing.
thing I dislike about boxing, which is, well now, fighters are not allowed to lose. I don't know if it's because of the Floyd era, um, but, you know, fighters would have five losses, three losses. Ali had losses. Um, we need to allow champions. I mean, Canelo has a loss. Fighters have losses. Fighters fall and they get back up. So we need to give Lomachenko a chance. And we need to not forget what that man has done. The amount of skills that man possesses. I mean, let's go into his skills away from that. Angles. Speed. IQ. Backwards. Forwards. Sideways. That man is the evolution of boxing. It's a shame that he started so old, um, so late and professional. 